Hey everybody, it's Callum and welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. In the last episode, we defeated Pronima and Yggdrasil in the Tower of Salvation. And in today's episode, we've been instructed to go to Heimdall, where all where things will be made clear, apparently, according to Zealous. Now we have a skit to start things off. Martel's Memories. Martel was an amazing person. Hmm? What are you talking about? When her consciousness entered me, I could see into her heart, too. Hurt and betrayed by so many people. I was filled with sadness. I see. That's right, Martel was a half-elf, too. But despite all that, I could feel how strongly she loved the world. So much that it hurt. Even though it wouldn't have been strange if she had hated the world, just like Mythos. I wonder where those feelings come from. I think she would be willing to sacrifice herself to save the world. Ritual of the Chosen is also a ritual to find a vessel for Martel. It may have been based on the way Martel herself lived. I delivered that line very awkwardly, but I don't care. So now, we fly to Heimdall, which is just over this way. Also, you can go in Ewan's little base up by the Tower of Salvation if you want to stock up on items. Kind of recommend you do so. Lloyd, welcome. Your visitor has already entered the Torrent Forest, where Origin sleeps. Thank you. Then we'll see you when we get back. Wait, Professor. Genus. Elder, please let these two into the village. It's only for now. They're my close friends and I want them to be there when I face off against Kratos. Unthinkable. No half-elf may enter the village. That kind of attitude gave rise to Crucius. What did you say? Stop, both of you. The chasm that separates us from the half-elves is deep and dark. Nevertheless, there is a reason in what you say. Thus, from now until Origin is released, I will grant these two entrance to the village. Thank you. However, they may not, uh, they may not use any of our facilities, is that clear? That's fine. Gee, thanks. Then let's go to where Kratos is. Lloyd, wait. You should relax a little first. You're about to fight... You're about to fight your father, remember? I know that. Colette is right. Don't be hasty, Lloyd. The fate of the world rests on your battle with Kratos. Let's rest here for tonight. And you can sort out your feelings. This will be the end of our journey. Alright. And we can talk to everybody in the village. We're going to talk to Genus first. Hey, you know how they say he who chases two hares won't catch either? Hares? How do you chase hares? You mean you chase someone and grab them by the hair? You know, Lloyd, sometimes I think you are a true genius. <laughs> Thanks, Genus. That wasn't a compliment. What it means is, if you're greedy and try to get everything, you'll fail. Like me. Genus? I wanted to be friends with both you and Mythos. Mythos was the first friend I'd, I'd ever have in my own race. But in the end, with my own hands, I... I'm sorry, Genus. He was your friend, and I... I don't want you to apologize for that. Is... This Mythos is Crucius Crystal? I'm sorry. I picked it up in the Tower of Salvation, but I just couldn't bring myself to destroy it. I took it with me. I thought I'd at least show him the regenerated world. I see. Lloyd, don't do anything you'll regret. That's all I wanted to say. Let's see if we can find anyone else in this village. There's Elos. 
Yo, I'm in a really bad mood, just so you know. But why are you talking about all of a sudden? Uh, what are you talking about all of a sudden? I just can't accept the way he acts. You know, Kratos. I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize. Well, yeah, but... Well, I guess you are his son. But I gotta say, the way he's decided to leave the job of settling things up to you is just, like, really irresponsible. It's like he's trying to run away from the situation. <laughs> when you start putting people da uh, putting down people, even Kratos isn't safe. Lloyd, if you're having trouble finding the answer, just chant my special magic words. Special magic words? Whatever will be, will be. That's very insightful of Zelos, actually. Um, there's no one up there. Okay, I thought there was someone up there, but nope, apparently not. But everyone is scattered across the village. I just don't necessarily know where everyone is. Uh, please let me past. Okay, I'll go the long way around. There's Colette up there, but you want to speak to her last. Trust me on this. I believe your highest affectionate character would actually be stood outside the, um, the inn like that. Let's talk to Perseo. Sitting here, it just doesn't seem real that the world is heading towards destruction. Hey, if the Great Sea doesn't wake up, this world will... What we're doing may be against the laws of nature. What? People chose the path of destruction. What we're trying to do may be, more, may be nothing more than meaninglessly extending the lifespan of the world. Are you saying it's better if the world is destroyed? I don't know. I don't think anyone knows what is best. That's why you're having difficulty deciding. Persea. There may not be a correct path. So please, choose what you really believe for yourself. Thanks, Persea. And now we need to find Sheena and Regal, and I know exactly where they- well, I know exactly where Sheena is, I don't quite know where Regal is, I do know he is in the next part of the map, though. Uh, there he is. You look tired. Really? Crucius was destroyed, but a bigger problem still remains. It's only natural that you are fatigued. But this is the end. I didn't expect to. I uh, didn't expect to fight Kratos in the end. I understand well your desire for wanting your father to live, and your desire to unite the worlds as well. Yeah, if I don't do anything, the world would, will wither, and everyone will die. In times like this, you have two options: choose what you desire to do, choose what you desire to do, or what you must do. Everyone's being pretty insightful today. I like it. And Sheena. Hey, are you alright? What? Uh, yeah. <sighs> Sorry. You're not someone who would answer that question with a no. I'm so stupid. Sheena... No, I'm really okay. I just have hesitations. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Anyone would be confused. This thing with Kratos was so sudden. But there's no time for it. I have to decide. I can't waver back and forth wanting to save both... Like the way I was with Colette. A father and son battling to the death. It's horrible. Sheena. You don't have to make yourself feel bad about it. Thank you. I'll think long and hard about it. I'll find an answer that won't make you feel that way again. I'm sorry I couldn't cheer you up. No, don't worry about it. Thanks. And now, for another thing that is determined on affection. Talk to the person in front of the inn. Here we go. Are you ready to go to bed? I mean... This game's rated 12. I don't... Do you really think you should be asking me that? Then have a good night.
Okay, I feel like I just needed to uh, say a quick thing here. I did say that I'm going to be providing the other scenes for, for the characters in Heimdall because we only got to see Colette's. This is still true. Um, however, these scenes, for some reason, aren't very well documented on YouTube. Only the one with Colette is of the HD remake, in a very good quality, and by the same person who I got the Flanor scenes off of. All of the other ones are either recordings from the GameCube version, recordings of someone's TV screen of the GameCube version, or the PS3 version, or a iffy quality PS3 recording. And one of them's in German, I'm pretty sure. So, that's gonna be fun. It's voiced in English, I'm pretty sure. I haven't completely checked. But it's subtitled in German. Which is kind of annoying, because, you know, whatever. But that's what you're gonna have to deal with, because I'm not gonna play 60 plus hours again multiple times differently to get these scenes if they were more well documented on youtube then by god i would happily show you them in great quality but can't do that so i'm apologizing in advance i'm very sorry about this but we're just gonna roll through the scenes one after another it's gonna go genus rain sheena Zelos, Prisea, Regal. And then we'll see Colette's. What is it? Lloyd, are you still up? I couldn't really get to sleep. Then let's go outside and look at the stars. They're beautiful right now. Okay then, just for a little while. Wow, you can see just as many stars here as you can from your house, Lloyd. That reminds me how you and the professor used to come to my house just to look at the stars. Rain always told me to study the positions of the stars. How come? So we'll be ready in case we're chased out from the village. Uh, I mean... Well, anyway, knowing the position of the stars is important. It'll keep you from getting lost. At least you know a lot about those types of things. What do you mean, at least? Say, Roy. Can I ask you something? What's up? How come you don't discriminate against half elves? Huh? Do you think it would be better if I did? No, I'd hate that. Then it's good that I don't, right? Yeah, but it's just... No matter where we go, that's just the way it is. Who decided that? Who, who decided? Humans, elves, whatever. There are people you like and ones you don't. That's all there is to it. Lloyd? If I'd been born a half-elf, I don't think I could stand being liked or disliked over something I can't do anything about. Yeah. You can't change what you are and how you're born. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Well, but I guess that means I can't change the fact that I'm stupid, huh? Don't worry. Your stupidity is what makes you cool. Hey, what the heck does that mean? I really like you, Lloyd. Even though you're a human. Huh? I think that if I'm with you, I'll eventually learn to like humans. Well then, why don't you come with me? To where? When this journey is over and the worlds are reunited, I plan to gather all the x spheres To make sure there won't be any more people like Prisea? Exactly. 
That's a good idea. I'd worry if you're by yourself. So I'll come along too. Okay then. It's a deal. Yeah. We'll be friends forever. What is it? Are you still up? I couldn't really get to sleep. In that case, would you like to join me outside? Okay then, just for a little while. <laughs> it really brings back so many memories. What does? This village. Huh? Oh, have you forgotten? Genus and I were born here. Oh yeah, that's right. I never realized that there were two separate worlds. Now all my research seems so meaningless. So, the reason you were interested in old ruins was... I was searching for the images from my childhood. Heimdall, the otherworldly gate. Everything was over here, in Tetheala. I'm glad you finally found it, Professor. Should I be glad? But this is the village you'd been searching for, right? You finally found your homeland. Yes. In the end, perhaps I should be glad. What's wrong? Did I say something bad? No. I'm glad I learned the truth instead of spending my entire life never knowing where my roots were. Your roots? I wonder where I was born. You should ask Kratos when you get the chance. Kratos? I couldn't talk to him about that. That man has risked his life to protect you. Think carefully what that means. But I don't understand what he's thinking. Why did he just go along with what Mythos told him to do? Who knows? But in protecting you, he acted against Mythos. He deceived us. People change. For better or for worse. Then... Then why does he still want to fight me? Adults are troublesome creatures. They aren't very good at admitting their mistakes. This is probably his way of settling things. Settling things? Once it's over, I wonder if I'll be able to ask him about my roots. Perhaps. If you do find out where you were born, would you like to go there together? Yeah. That sounds good. Along the way, we can collect all the X-Spheres from around the world. I don't think these things should just be left about. Yes, it would be best if they never appear again. Right? Okay, then it's settled. When the worlds are reunited, we'll head for your birthplace together. Okay, that's a promise. What is it? Um, <laughs> you still up? I couldn't really get to sleep. Well, in that case, you want some company for a little while? Okay then, just for a little while. So, aren't you nervous? Huh? About tomorrow, the battle with Kratos. Yeah, a little. Right, of course you'd be. Doesn't it bother you? What, fighting with Kratos? Yeah. I mean, he's your father, right? Isn't it kind of difficult to face him? The fact that he's my father still hasn't sunk in. When I stop and think about it, it does seem like he helped me out a lot along the way. But he also betrayed us and put us through hell. So accepting the fact that he's my father is harder to deal with than the fact that I have to fight him. Uh, I see. But you know, I'm still a little envious. Why? You know, I was abandoned as a child. So I don't have a clue who my parents are. 
Ah. I thought about what it would be like if I was in your place. I mean, if my parent was my enemy and yet still came to my aid. I think I'd just be all confused. <laughs> I'm confused too. Even now. <laughs> Well, so, when I imagined about fighting my own father tomorrow, I got really frightened. You did? <laughs> you dork. You don't have to put yourself in my shoes that much, you know? I know, but either way, it nearly drove me crazy. I couldn't take it. Anyway, I mean, that's how I felt, so I thought maybe you're feeling the same way. <laughs> Thanks, Sheena. Ah, nah, no, it's, uh... Say, what are you planning to do after this? After this? When the worlds are reunited, our journey will be over, right? So what then? Well, I think I want to go on a journey to collect all the X-Spheres. Oh, that's a good idea. Could I... Could I come along with you? Huh? You don't have to go back to Mizuho? I... I wanna... I wanna be with you. Sure. I wanna be with you too. Really? <laughs> then it's settled, okay? You can't change your mind now. We're going together on a journey to collect all the X-Spheres in the world. Yeah. That way, no more people will fall victim to the X-Spheres. And these things will never be dragged into a conflict like this again. It's a promise. If you don't keep it, I'm gonna invoke the Mizuho tradition of making a liar swallow a thousand needles. Whoa. Okay. Okay, I promise. What is it? Sorry, did I wake you? I couldn't really get to sleep. Then can I talk to you for a sec? Okay then, just for a little while. Sorry about calling you out here in the middle of the night. Nah, don't worry about it. What's up? I'll get right to the point. What's up with this Kratos guy? Well, what do you mean, what's up? Doesn't he piss you off? Zelos, why are you so mad? Well, he's done all this stuff to us. Turned against us and even betrayed his own son. Damn right I'm mad. Uh, do you really think you're in a position to be mad? We don't need to talk about me. I'm really good at conveniently forgetting things like that. That's hardly something to brag about. I think parents are there to protect their children. Well, yeah. But this guy, he just goes back and forth like he can't make up his mind. Doesn't he realize that it only hurts you? And then after all that, he challenges you to a duel? What kind of family turns swords against one another? This whole thing's nuts. Yeah, well, I guess that's true. You certainly don't seem that worked up about it. Doesn't he piss you off? Well, right now, you're mad enough for the both of us. I hate parents like that. Parents who just jerk their kids around for their own convenience. Yeah, when you put it that way, I guess he did kind of jerk me around. Exactly. I mean, he knew about the Eternal Sword and the Eternal Ring from the very beginning and didn't say a word about it. What? What about the Eternal Ring? Uh, well... Is Kratos the one that told you about the Eternal Ring? So, Lloyd, after we've succeeded in reuniting the worlds, what are you gonna do? Zelos, you heard about the Ring from Kratos, didn't you? He... he knew everything. 
that humans can't use the eternal sword, the details of Colette's sickness, the way to make the eternal ring, everything. Yeah, I guess when you think about it that way, he could have said something sooner. Exactly. But even if he had told us, I don't think we would have believed him. So maybe he did his best to gauge when to do what, and to set things up for us along the way. When you put it that way, I suppose that might be true. Now I feel kind of stupid for getting so worked up over it. Not at all. Because you were upset, I think I've calmed down. I'm not worked up anymore. Oh. Well, that's good then. Tomorrow, I'll fight Kratos, and then I'll ask him what he was thinking and what he was trying to do. Tomorrow, if Origin's seal is broken, the worlds will begin to unite, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. About that question you asked earlier? I'm planning to go on a journey to search for X-Spheres. Huh? You asked what I was going to do after the worlds are reunited. Oh, I get it. That sounds like a good idea. We should put the X-Sphere somewhere people will never get their hands on them again. For the sake of living beings, as well as for the lifeless ones. What about you? What are you gonna do? Me? Hmm, good question. The institution of the Chosen will surely be abolished, so, uh... I guess I'll just tag along with you! Huh? Are you serious? Yep. I think it's an awesome idea, if I do say so myself. Zelos, savior of the world, on a journey with his faithful sidekick. What do you think? Whatever, man. Do what you like. Okay, then. It's settled. It's gonna be awesome traveling around with me. Just you wait. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Are you awake? I couldn't really get to sleep. Could you come outside and talk with me? Okay then, just for a little while. Our journey is almost over. Yeah, when I defeat Kratos and release Origin tomorrow. You don't feel... Any trepidation about fighting Kratos? I'd be lying if I said I didn't. But I guess Kratos wants to fight us. I do not understand. I do not see the logic of this fight. For all intent and purposes, Crucius no longer exists. Well, I think Kratos wants to bid farewell to his old self as an angel of Crucius. Can he not do that by physically abandoning his role as an angel? He's probably lived too long to do that. I can't even imagine what 4,000 years is like. 4,000 years continuing to exist beyond the limits of your race is a painful thing. wonder what I'd do if I had that kind of time. Eventually, you would get tired of living. That is what I think. Get tired? Well, I wonder if that's true. If you can live for a long time, you'll get to do a lot of things. Is it not because people know that they will eventually die, that they try very hard to live? When people die, everything is over. Therefore, everyone wants to find their destiny before that time comes. At least, that's how I feel. Yeah, maybe so. 
It's kind of like if the holidays lasted forever, I'd never do my homework. I don't think that is quite the same thing. Huh. Really? It is not the same, but it is easy to understand. <laughs> it's okay. I wasn't offended or anything. I spent my life watching the people of my village grow older and pass me by. Yeah. Even my younger sister, Alicia, grew much older than me. I wanted to go into the next grade with everyone else. Alone. I'm still on a holiday. Then let's grow older together. Together? With you? When this journey is over, I'm planning to go around the world collecting all the remaining X spheres. To make sure that people will never get hurt by them. I wish to go with you, too. Together with you, I may be able to fill the void in my life. Then let's make that a promise. Yes, it's a promise. Please, don't leave me behind. I promise I won't. What is it? Are you awake? I couldn't really get to sleep. I see. Then, would you like to come speak with me for a little while? Okay then, just for a little while. It's a strange feeling. Huh? What is? that your father appears younger than me. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. It doesn't feel real to me yet, either. It feels more like he's my older brother. Brother, huh? Yes. I could imagine that. Although, I guess you could say the same about us. I, too, have thought of you as a younger brother. I don't have any brothers. But if I had a younger brother, I imagine he might be like you. <laughs> if I was your brother, I'd probably be a lot more level-headed. No, you really don't lose control of yourself. You may have gotten that from your father. Regal, do you understand Kratos and the things he does? Why do you ask? I was thinking that you two are a little bit alike. You and Kratos. In a lot of ways. You think? Even when I lost the one I loved, I don't think I lost control of myself. I even shocked myself at how calm and subdued I am all the time. Really? But you sought revenge for Alicia, right? Whether that's a good thing or not, I'd hardly call that calm and subdued. If that was really for Alicia's sake, or if it was to fill the void of my own sadness in losing her, I honestly don't know. Hmm. I think you think too hard about stuff all the time. What you said are the same things. How sad you are shows how important Alicia was to you. I see. You only seem to find the simple truth. People tell me I'm simple-minded. Maybe if they add the two of us together and divide by half, we'd be just right. Perhaps. When this journey is over, maybe I'll accompany you and learn your way of thinking. Huh. 
I don't know if learning from me is such a good idea. But if you want to come along with me after this journey is over, that's fine by me. It'll be like killing two birds with one stone. Two birds with one stone? Will I be of use to you somehow? Once the worlds are reunited, I'm planning on collecting all the X spheres. I mean, we can't just leave them out there the way they are now, right? Indeed. Perhaps we should allow these sad beings to continue their sleep forever. Otherwise, history may repeat itself. Exactly. So, I thought stuff like X spheres shipping records left at your company might turn out to be useful. I'd like you to allow me to join you on that journey. Really? To be honest, I don't even know if I'll be able to collect all of them in my lifetime. I expect my business experience may be of use in accomplishing that. And besides, Alicia would surely prefer that I help you, rather than return to my cell and idle my time away. It would be a tremendous help to have you around. My strength is yours, even after our current journey ends. You are my new hope for the future. We will move forward together. What is it? Are you still up? I couldn't really get to sleep. The stars are so pretty. Do you want to come see them with me? Okay then. Just for a little while. Wow. It feels like they might come falling down a at any moment. Yeah. You know, it still feels strange. The fact that I'm still here, talking with you. How come? My grandmother told me that I could never return to the village once I left on the journey to regenerate the world. So, when I talked with you the night before leaving Asalia, I thought it would be the very last time. But I'm still here, right beside you. And that's the way it'll be. Hmm? Crucius is gone. And tomorrow, when I win against Kratos and have him remove the seal, the worlds will be reunited. You don't have to worry anymore. So, you're going to fight Kratos? I... have to. But... he's your father. It's because he's my dad that I have to fight. Why? He wants to settle things. He wants to settle the score with his own past. That's what it feels like to me. Hmm. Maybe you're right. After all, he saved us. Yeah. And I also want to settle things myself. What do you mean? I've spent this whole time expecting you to do everything. I just took it for granted that you're the only one who could regenerate the world. I never questioned that. You didn't know. It's not your fault. And besides, you saved me, just like you promised you would. But because of that, a lot of people lost their lives. I have to shoulder their sacrifices. For their sake and mine, I have to defeat the Kratos of the past. I understand. When this is all over, I hope the world becomes a place where everyone can live together. When this journey ends and the world really becomes like that, what are you going to do? Will you return to Isalia? I don't think I'm going back there again. I plan to go on a journey to collect all of these. x -Pierce? Unless they're all retrieved, there will be more victims like you and Prisea. So I want to gather all of them before that happens. That's my way of showing gratitude to these guys for using their powers to fight. Do you mind if I come along with you? Hmm? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> what was that? Why did Colette's voice come out of Lloyd's mouth?
<laughs> this is a really emotional scene. <laughs> I feel so awful for interrupting it, but that <laughs> just cracked me up. I want to continue to be by your side, just like I've been up until now. All right, we'll go together. Let's go explore the new world together. Okay. But of course, I had no choice whether to see that scene with Claire or not like I did in Flanor. Because they're, these are based off of who is just your most affectionate character. All of, their scene, all of the other scenes are going to play now because I cannot be asked to <laughs> explain all of them. They're just going to roll past one after another like they did in the Flanor video. And yeah, I'll see you guys back after that. Alright, now that all of those scenes are done, we must head and talk to the Elder. Are you going to Torrent Forest? Yeah. Kratos traveled the world in search of one legendary ore, Ionis. He came here too, of course. Do you know why? In order to allow a human to wield the Eternal Sword, right? so that you can wield it. But in the end, Ionis could not be found in this world. Yet it had been taken from Darius Carlon. So that's why we uh, that's why he sent Zelos to get it. Even if you cannot avoid the battle, do not forget, Kratos was your ninth companion. I won't. Torrent Forest lies this way. Speak to the Watchman. Actually, Elder, he was our ninth party member and our eighth companion. Because Lloyd doesn't count as his own companion and whatever. You're amazing, Lloyd. Hmm? What's up all of a sudden? You talked the Elf Elder into letting Rain and I into the village. All you did was enter the village. The Elves haven't accepted you. It's enough for us. As for the next step, we'll probably have to do it ourselves. I also concur. It's very insightful. We're going to keep with the party. Action! Actually, we're going to change the party up a little bit. Have Perseia, Genus, and Rain in the party. Let's talk to this guard. Kratos should be in the deepest region of the forest. Be careful. And next time, we're going to be exploring the Forest of the Elves. So this is the Forest of the Elves. You used to live in Heimdall long ago, didn't you, Professor? Yes, but I hardly ever I hardly remember it at all. It's a strange feeling, both nostalgic and unfamiliar at the same time. I hope the day comes that anyone can just visit this, vi this forest normally. Yeah, I hope there'll be a world like that someday. And next time, we're going to be going through Torrent Forest. See you guys then, and goodbye. Of course we get another skit. Elves are long-lived, aren't they? Yeah, so it seems. They say they live about a thousand years. It's hard to even imagine that. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'll probably live that long too. So half-elves are long-lived as well. Then, after we die, you'll just keep on living. Yeah, we shall live on as well. Our individual lifespans are 80 years at best. That's not what I mean. As long as Genus and Rain are alive, we too shall continue to live in their hearts. I'll never forget you all. It's so touching. Next time on Tales of Symphony, we're going to be going through the Torrent Forest. See you guys then, and goodbye.